This is how I became a soccer pro in less than five minutes. Just do this. See, it's easy. Now you try. Maybe it's not so easy. That's because this ball isn't even real. It's animated. Duh. So you might not become a soccer pro in five minutes. But I'll show you how to make a professional looking animation in no time. We'll map out your animation and then add finishing touches that'll make your videos next level. To start off, we're gonna record someone kicking an imaginary ball. Next, we're gonna map out where the ball is gonna go. Scroll through your video and find each frame that a kick happens and draw a number at the point of impact so we'll know where and in which order the soccer kicks occur. Now copy and paste all those numbers onto your first frame and then we're going to draw the path of the soccer ball and then paste that onto each frame in our project. Now draw a soccer ball and copy and paste it frame by frame so that it travels along the path you just drew. To time out the flight of the ball, count the number of frames between each kick. There are 12 frames between kick one and kick two, so we know that by frame six, the ball should be at its highest point on our path and it can start making its descent. Now that's a pretty good animation right there, but let's add some finishing touches to make this look really good. We'll start by adding squash and stretch. We do this by compressing the ball and then lengthening it. Squash makes the ball's impact feel more powerful and stretch makes the speed of the ball leaving the foot seem faster. The ball should keep the same volume. That means if you squash it horizontally, you have to stretch it vertically. Now I'm going to add some shading to the ball. We'll take the new airbrush and color a layer above the ball. The light source here is coming from the ceiling, so we add shade to the bottom of the ball and the highlight goes on top nearest to the light. We can also draw a shadow to the wall for a more added realism. And now, if you want to go really next level, you can try this. I made a 3D render of a rotating ball in spline. I brought that video into Flip -a Clip and traced the ball. Then, I added the video of my soccer player into this project, and so when I animate the ball along the path, it rotates in 3D as well. And that's it! Now you can animate like a pro. Let's see how you did.